All right, welcome back to your fifth tutorial on how to create Word documents. And so in this tutorial, we will look at how to change the font of our text. So how to change font size, set it bold, and all of that kind of neat stuff. And to get started, I'll delete our second parag uh, paragraph and delete all of the preferences we had for our paragraph. And I'll also change the text of our run to uh, title. So we can basically create a title for our document. So let's see what we can do. Uh, let's start by resizing our text. So we'll have to say run dot set font size and I'll just go ahead and set it to 25. All right, so let's run that. Okay, and open up awesome.docx. And as you can see, our title is now a size of 25. All right, so that's how you change the font size. And maybe we can also set the title into the center. So we have to type in paragraph dot set alignment to paragraph alignment dot center. So we have our title in the center. All right, so let's continue. Let's say run dot set font family. So let's change that to uh, I'll set it to Arial Black. And so you can see now that our title is now centered and has the font Arial Black. All right, so that's how you change the font family. Let's continue on with run.set underlined. And as a parameter, it asks for uh, class called the underline patterns so we have to import that and it is in the orc apache uh, poi xwpf user model package and it's called the underline patterns and so from there we can choose if our underline is going to be double underlined or simply underlined so i'll say underline patterns dot and I'll go with double. So we have a double underlined text. Let's see what that looks like. Yay! Oh, that makes me happy. All right, that sounded weird. Okay, so that's how you underline your text with the underline patterns. Uh, let's set it also. Uh, bold and for that I have to change the font family otherwise you can't really see that it's bold so I'll set it to Hel is it Helvetica or Helvetia I think it's Helvetia I'll, I'll set it to Helvetia so we'll have to say run dot set bold and I'll set it to true so now we have a bold text that says title let's see what it looks like and you can see that it is, it is bold, actually. Um, you can't really see it, so if I just set it normal, you can say that, see that it is thicker. All right, and we don't only have to set it bold, we also can set it italic. So we can say run.set italic to true. And we can even set a strikeout. So let's do that too. Let's say run dot set uh, set strike. Wait, where is that? Ah, okay. Set strike to true. So now our text is also going to be italic and striked through. And voila! Now we have the world's most awesome title you've ever seen. Yeah. All right. So, last but not least, let's also change the color. So we have to say run.setColor. 
And as a parameter, it asks for a string. And in there, there's going to be a hexadecimal number for the color. Now, if you don't know what uh, hex hexadecimal means, I'll just give you a quick answer how you can solve that problem. So just open up Google and search for uh, something like, um, let's say, hexadecimal uh, color picker. Then just click it on the first link. And then you can choose from any color you want. I'll just go ahead with a dark green and then copy the uh, the color up here. So it should be six different characters. And just copy that and paste it into the set color method into the string. And then it's going to change the color based on what text you put in there. Let's open it up and oh god is that awesome. Okay, I'm getting a little bit too enthusiastic in here. But you can see it changes the color of our text and that's basically the most important things we can do with runs and with our text itself. So we can set it underlined, change the font family and so on and so on. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope to see you soon again. Bye.